What is up, my turtles? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Tortuga, and welcome to PDL. Uh, this is actually week two. I had a buy in week one versus the Wisconsin Whoopers. The Herkimer Dreadnoughts are back. We are ready to go. So uh, let's let's get going here. So I got a team and whatnot. I do apologize. There was no team builder or anything. And uh, we got some good Pokemon. All right, so we see a Tox double uh, Amoongus. Okay, Amoongus. I didn't didn't expect Amoongus, not going to lie, but that's fine. And then Cursilla. So we picked four Pokemon. Let me see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I kind of want to overpower them. Start with the Rain Team. I think that'll be, that'll be pretty darn epic. Um, I think Kyogre has an Ice move. Um... Yeah, it's got Ice Beam, so we'll be okay with the Amoongus play. And then, um, I'll go over the team at the end of the, the match, by the way. And then I think we'll do Hatterene. Crap block? Question mark? Let's give that a shot, because why not? All right, so we'll have some fun there. All right, good luck. Have fun to my opponent here. Um, I got my notes and everything, so I'm actually going to move my microphone a little ways away, but here we go. Good luck, have fun to my opponent and the Wisconsin Whoopers. So I'm sorry I seem a little frazzled. It's been one heck of a week, and uh, we're actually playing this a little bit later. So we got Curs uh, Corsola. And double. We got a shiny double, nonetheless. That's that's pretty cool. But I have a dreadnought and a uh, a Kyogre. So we'll get the rain going because that's that's pretty pog. Um, I'm just I'm just going burr right away. So this is G Max dreadnought because we have to have it, and then we're gonna max darkness into the Cursola. Um just to kind of see what can come in and take that. I worry about potentially the buzz wall. But I think we'll be good and in... Yeah, let's hydro pump. Just trying to think on what I can do here. Hydro pump the double. That's fine. So it does not switch out. We're going to go burr right away. So... Double... Course... Corsola. So we got a big G-Max Dreadnought, which is really, really cool. So let's see what happens here. So we got Max Darkness into the Corsola. And it tanks it because probably Eviolite. And that lowers its special defense because of max darkness. And I lost some HP. Kyogre uses Hydro Pump. It missed. That sucks. But that's fine. So double uses Thunder Wave. So we got T Wave on the double. And then Whirlpool. So. Whirlpool. Okay. Um, we're now going to use Max Knuckle on the double. Um, I think that's fine. Give my opponent a little bit there. And then let's just uh, go ahead and go with an Ice Beam into the course I think that's fine. All right, so Max Knuckle into the double. Um, I'm actually not sure if that knocks it out. Double is pretty tanky. Which is fine. Um, Kyogre might be a little bit faster, but it raises the attack, which is really, really cool. Um, Dreadnought shows off the Life Orb. Thunder Wave misses, actually, which is really, really good. Kyogre gets the Ice Beam off, and Kyogre gets a kill on the Corsola, so we are up for nothing. Um, Alright, Double has, it looks like, leftovers. So, Double. Leftovers. Just taking notes because this is best of three. This is a little different here. So we got a Toxtricity. Okay. Um, I definitely don't want to deal with that, but I also don't want to get 
um, paralyzed, so I'll kind of take that. Um, I kind of want to do a hydro pump to the toxicity and hope it hits. Um, if it doesn't hit, it's fine. Alright, so we can say toxicity. That's a cherished ball, toxicity. Was this their G-Max form? Yeah, this is this is their G-Max. So this is G-Max. I'm not going to go to that. Which has a chance to burn or paralyze and, and or poison. So Toxtricity does a max guard. That's actually probably really, really good. So max knuckle into the dub wall. So Dreadnought gets a kill. So Toxtricity has some form of... Max Guard. Okay. Double Wolf Fainted. And then Kyogre uses Hydro Pump into the Guarded. Toxtricity, and we're good. Alright, and their last Pokemon that they bring is the uh, Fungus. Okay. Or Amoongus. Amoongus. And yeah, they only brought four. Okay. I, I uh, almost forgot about that. Alright. So, more than likely, they're going to probably use Rage Powder. I can definitely see a Rage Powder. Um, okay. So, let's try to get some damage off. And we're going to do Ice Beam. And... Crunch into the Amoongus. I'm expecting Rage Powder anyway. Dreadnought just uses Crunch, okay. So Amoongus doesn't show anything. That does a lot of damage. Okay. Toxtricity uses G-Max Stun Shock into the Kyogre. Which we tank. And paralyzes the Dreadnought, which kind of sucks. And then Kyogre uses Ice Beam. And we get the KO on the Amoongus. Alright, so G Max Stun Shock. Alright, um. Let me see here. I could crunch. I think Liquidation is probably the best while we still have some rain. And unfortunately, I really don't want to switch in to anything right now. So I think I will let Kyogre go down. But I'm going to try an Ice Beam. Just not to give out too much, too much information. G-Max Stun Shock will end up killing... The Dreadnought, actually. He goes after the Dreadnought. Okay. That's probably really good. And then, as long as we don't get paralyzed, Ice Beam. Any freeze hacks? Freeze hacks? Freeze? No? Okay. But that is going to be the end of their Dynamax turn. We're going to bring out Hatterene. Hatterene, obviously going to be the slowest thing on the field. It's built for Trick Room and whatnot, but we brought a good Pokemon in that regards. And uh, we'll try to do good things here. So Snarl, which is a good move, actually. Very good move, lowering both of my special attacks. So Toxtricity has Snarl. And then Throat Spray, okay. Throat. Spray. And we take game one. We take game one relatively easily. And that is that is good. So GG's to my opponent there. That was really, really good. We win 3-0 there, which is awesome. 
Hit him with the GGs. We're going to play with the same rules because, it's, like I said, it is best two out of three here. And that is really, really cool. Um, so we got to play with the same party. We can't change the teams up in between matches. So we're going to we're gonna get going. We're going to get going here. All right. And we are ready for round two here. So it's going to be the same six Pokemon on both ends and whatnot. I like what I did at the first time, but I think he's going to be ready for that. But at the same time, it worked very, very well um, that I might just go for it anyway. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's a disadvantage of doing that. I don't really see a disadvantage of doing that. Um, I, I do worry about the Sylveon, personally, but... I got some good moves. It's like Double has has leftovers in, in, in T-Wave. Corsola had Whirlpool. Amogus just kind of sat there. So I think I think we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to throw it off a little bit. Uh, I definitely like Tatarine in this situation here. And uh, I did bring Graplock this time. Porygon or Karen. I mean, I could definitely deal with Graplog. I think I'm going to bring the same four. If it's not broken, why why not fix it? It's like, I do, however, think I'm going to Dynamax the Kyogre this time. So, we shall see. So, good luck, have fun to my opponent, the Wisconsin Whoopers. Match two of hopefully two. Um, <laughs> we shall see what happens. All right, so good luck, have fun, my friend. This is this is indeed a lot of fun. I will I will definitely say that. All right, so who do we got? Who do we got? We got Happy, which is the Amoongus, and Sylveon is here this time. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so very good, very good. All right, so Sylveon is here, and Amoongus hasn't shown us anything, and Sylveon hasn't shown us anything either. Okay, so I am going to plan that the Amoongus is going to Rage Powder. So, I think we do the same thing, except this time, I think... I think regardless, we're going to set a G-Max Stone Surge, and if, if, for whatever reason, they choose not to uh, do Rage Powder, uh, I'll get the G-Max Stone Surge up anyway, and the Pokemon coming in are going to take damage. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, we're going to Dynamax right away, just as we've done in the past. So a good, a, a nice switch. We'll we'll see how we can, how we can adjust and whatnot. You know the strategies are real. But we did see that the ice beam did not kill the Amoongus the, the the last time. So we got big boy Dreadnought. Let's get it. And we are ja we are we are Dynamaxing this time, immediately. The Sylvia. All right, so Sylveon's gonna be Dynamaxing, which is really, really cool. I did not target one target. I only will do that if it Rage Powders, which it might. All right, G-Max Stone Surge. This one's into the Sylveon. It probably does survive. Oh, wow. It, it, it survived because of the Dynamax. Because, <laughs> oh my goodness, he's lucky I didn't double into that. So Kyogre's gonna use Ice Beam. A freeze would be really, really cool there. No freeze, okay. Sylveon uses max overgrowth, so that's probably a dead Dreadnought. Not gonna lie. Dreadnought, okay, yeah, the same thing there. I mean, unless he doubled Dreadnought, which he might have. Um, that is that is very, very cool, so awesome, awesome. And he did not, he Giga Drained. So Amoongus showing Giga Drain. So Giga. Drain. And all the Pokemon on the field just looking hurt. <laughs> so what happens here? Um, we got the G-Max Stone Surge up. I still think my play is to Ice Beam. I think that is definitely my play. And honestly, I don't see any reason why I don't just G-Max Stone Surge again. Maybe a Max Darkness? Or a Max Rockfall? I don't want to lose the rain, though, so... 
I think we just G-Max Stone Surge again? Or do we double into the Amoongus? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do G-Max Stone Surge this this time. Max Guard, okay, that's that's a good play. So G-Max Stone Surge into the Max Guard. Max G U R D E. A freeze here would be amazing. I do not get it. Giga Drain into the Dreadnought takes it out. Okay. That is a good thing there. And I also had a max overgrowth on the city. I mean, I think the Among Us is going to be annoying, but I think we'll be okay there. Um, Let's go into... I, th I think Hatterene is definitely the play here. I think Hatterene is definitely the play here. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to bring out Graplock, but I think Hatterene is, is the play here, which is, which is great. Okay, so Kyogre is going to move first, so I actually think I am going to Ice Beam Happy, and then use Psychic. I could D-Gleam, too. Let me D-Gleam. Is that the play? Because I know this thing's going to be bulky. I kind of feel like I should Psychic. Yeah, let's Psychic. Let's Psychic. There's the Rage Powder. Okay, okay. So, Giga Drain. There's the Rage Powder. There's the Rage Powder. And then we did do Psychic, which was actually probably a really good move. Sylveon is going to use another Max Overgrowth. This time into Kyogre. Don't know if Kyogre survives. It does not. But Sylveon... It was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, honestly. So Kyogre is down, and then Hatterene uses Psychic that does take down Happy. Okay, so now we're two for two in this match. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we'll have to see what they bring. I don't have a choice what to bring. And then you show the Life Orb, which is which is fine. Alright, so now we have Graplocked. Let's go ahead and bring out Graplocked. Beautiful shiny Graplock, by the way. I worked hard for this one. I did, too. There's Buzzwall. That thing is kind of scary, not gonna lie. And then Toxtricity. Okay. And then the Pointed Stones, which is good. Okay. So let's get some damage off that. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I can I can hit both of them very hard. Dazzling Gleam. Let's do a Psychic on the Buzzwall. Or do I try... Yeah, you know what? Let's, t let's take out the Tox. Let's try to take out the Tox. Okay. So Graplock is going to use Sucker Punch. Knocks Toxtricity down to about half. Darkest Lariat. This goes into Hatterene, who tanks. Uh, Overdrive is going to hit both, which is going to hit pretty hard. Hat surviving! Which is very, very cool. I'm glad I doubled the Tox, which is very, very good. And then a Psychic into... The Toxtricity does bring it down. So Hatterene gets another kill, which is very, very good. Hatterene does indeed go down to life orb, though. Womp womp. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think I lost... Because of that, I think I lost the uh, the match. I don't think Graplock can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a with a, with a Guzzlord. Um... Not really.
Well, let's hope I can let's hope I can survive and maybe I can do a lot of damage. I don't think I don't think I'm going to. Drain punch. Which does not knock it out. Which does bring him back to full. I get revenge. Which unfortunately is not enough. It was a crit. That's funny. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. I gotta I gotta find a better way to deal with the buzz wall. Which is fine. I don't have any flying type moves. That was that was my thing. So okay, so really really good match. That was that was uh, that was well played and whatnot. Uh, I'm not taking notes on Buzzwall. I kind of forgot and whatnot. So I'm gonna get as much damage off of Buzzwall as I can. Sucker Punch probably isn't gonna do much of anything. So we're gonna go uh, Buzzwall. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay. Uh, I saw Dream Punch and Darkest Larry yet. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's all six of their Pokemon. So we go into we go into another. All right, on to round three here. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do um, because that Sylveon having max overgrowth is a real pain in the patootie, if I am to be honest. Um, I do think Dreadnought can go kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sylveon. Um... That redirection with Amoongus is, is very annoying. It's like, I'm kind of thinking the Trick Room strats this time. Um, what do you know, uh, Karen? You have a helping hand. Okay. Do I want to take the time to set it up, though? Is that my thing? I think, I think I'm going to, and then have Dreadnought and Kyogre in the back. It's like, I think that's a very strong start. Set up the... The Trick Room. And then just go Burr with Hatterene. Okay. Let's see how that... Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. I have to adapt because they adapted, but hopefully they haven't seen... Hopefully they haven't seen this strategy before. All right, round three, let's get it. They went Toxtricity and Amoongus. Okie dokie. And then we got Hatterene and Indeed. All right, so we're gonna start with Trick Room, and then we are going to follow me. All right, they're going big very first turn, which I believe will be the Toxtricity. I can't imagine that it will be not the Toxtricity. And Karen is going to use Follow Me. So you're going to hit the Indeedee. Into Max Ooze, which does lower the special. Actually, it increases their special attack, which is okay. You know, that's kind of scary, not going to lie. Um, Amoongus is going to Pollen Puff. Which will probably knock out Karen. No, Karen's surviving. And then Hatterene uses... Trick Room and is safe to go burr. Alright, Toxtricity has indeed shown me that it can learn um, uh, it can learn uh, that it does have um, what was I going to say? Um, it has Max Guard. Toxtricity has Max Guard. Um... And it did do a max ooze, so I'm going to max mind storm into the um, 
into the, the thingamajig. And then in by the off chance Toxtricity doesn't doesn't make a move. We'll go into the Toxtricity. So I think that'll be that'll be fine. Alright, so Toxtricity also showed me a uh G Max stun shock, which I think is not what we want. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Like I said, I do I do sincerely apologize. I should be going first, minus a rage powder of some kind. There's the Max Guard. Saw that coming. Um, Max Mindstorm. I'm kind of hoping this does KO. Hatterina's a beast, so no Focus Sash there. And then, obviously, a Psychic into the Toxtricity there. Alright, cool. So, we're up one nothing. So let's see, let's see what comes in next. All right, so I'm just making sure there. There's Happy. All right, so Happy can be a pain, but I don't want a G-Max Stun Shock to come off. So I'm gonna Max Mindstorm, and then Karen. I'd like to attack double, just to be safe. I really don't want to leave that Sylveon sitting there, because Sylveon is a little scary, but we're gonna try for that Toxtricity. There's a Max Mindstorm. Hopefully this KOs. Yeah, that's that's just a clean one shot. <laughs> so that is that is actually very very good for me. Hatterain being the MVP. I do expect Sylveon to go next. No, and oh yeah, there's the Moonblast. This into Indeedy. Indeedy goes down. Okay, that is that is fine. All right, so bye bye Indeedy. Thanks so much. Um. Let's go Dredna. So Dredna is actually built for speed, but I still think it's gonna be a little bit slower there. All right, so Buzzwall and Sylveon left. And then some Max Starfall, but I kind of want the Psychic Terrain. We're gonna do that, and then we're just gonna, like I said, I, again, really don't want to see Happy sitting there, but I think we'll be okay. Max Mindstorm into the Buzzwall, um, and Buzzwall just clean one shot. Yeah, Hatterene, <laughs> G Max Hatterene, and it's not even G Max. D Max Hatterene is just is just insane. So Sylveon knows Moonblast. Um. Sylveon knows Moonblast, um, and I think that's a, that's a, a GG's on, on our end, so this was Max. Ooze! I think this is just a GG's on our end. We're gonna go ahead and just Psychic, and Liquidation, and that should be a GG's, my friend. Uh, there's the Psychic, and that is the victory. I shoot my opponent at GG's. And uh, we have we have won our first match of the season. Like I said, this is week two, but it it was uh, it was good stuff. They were not ready 100% for the trick room strats. And yeah, no, that is that is very good. So um, yeah, no, I, I know my commentary wasn't exactly the best in in this one, but yeah, but yeah, it was good. Um, coyote. So let me just go over the team really, really quickly. Uh, Hatterene rocking the Life Orb, uh, built for no speed. Obviously having that Magic Bounce ability, which is its hidden ability, so it reflects that. So if it tries to, like, growl or, or, or something, it just gets reflected. Dazzling Gleam, Mystical Fire, Psychic, and Trick Room. Uh, obviously paired with Karen with the Focus Sash. Make sure it survives that hit, so the other Pokemon has to hit it. Um, with the exception of those spread moves, you know, with Psychic Surge. Indeedy, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Following Me, Helping Hand. I kind of thought about using Helping Hand, but Hatterene is such a beast. Uh, obviously built with that special attack. 408 at level 100. I forget what it was at level 50, but that's absolutely crazy. G-Max Dredna with also rocking that Life Orb. Swift Swim. Um, so that's why when Burn in the Rain, uh, Stone Edge, Liquidation, Crunch, and Superpower, just to kind of get some coverage on it. It did very, very well. 
in that regards here. Uh, Grap locked with the black belt. Move technician, so it actually powers up that revenge that we saw, um, which is at 60. Um, and I think it actually did a little bit more. Um, not the best mon to bring this uh, in hindsight, but uh, adamant nature, obviously. But really good. But it just, it, it, did, it, it did its job. Porygon just kind of sat there. Um... Uh, honestly, it was just something to have just in case something got in trouble. Able to set up that rain for the Dreadnought and whatnot. And of course, you guys saw the Kyogre rocking the Mystic Water. Um, uh, a modest nature uh, with that 430A special attack, which is crazy. Drizzle ability, Hydro Pump, Body Slam, Ice Beam, and Thunder. So that's just a quick team recap, not even really a team builder. It's like I, I just uh, decided to bring power between the, the Hatterene and Dreadnought. It's like, it's just, it's it's an unfair advantage. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I do apologize that there wasn't an official team builder. Um, I'm, uh, I'm thinking I probably won't do it this season. I know I said in, in my Discord, I'm going to re I'm gonna rearrange. I'll probably just throw these battles up on Wednesdays, if I'm going to be honest. It's like, that way I have videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, you know, whatever happens on Friday and, and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this, uh, this first match here. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, I really actually thoroughly enjoyed myself. I have missed battling a lot. Um, really do wish I won that second round out, but it is what it is. And, uh, we, we move on, uh, next week. So guys, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and, uh, I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.